welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel so if you're new here then welcome if you're returning then what's up my name is Shanice Lynn and welcome to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be talking about five things that I wish I knew before starting my YouTube channel and all these tips and all these things that I wish I knew I'm going to tell you about it and hopefully it will help you when starting your channel or even if you have a channel now it should help you trust me <laughs> but before we get into this video don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a new video period okay period! so without further ado let's get straight into this video Okay, so just a little bit of a backstory on my channel. So I started YouTube in January of 2020, and it's currently July. Don't know the day, but it's July of the same year. So that's just a little bit kind of. I'm still a new YouTuber myself. So you know, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, y'all. But let's go ahead and get into these five things that I wish I knew before starting my channel. Okay, so the first thing that I wish I knew before starting my channel was copyright. All about copyright. So I done got enough copyright claims to know a little bit about copyright, okay? So if you don't know what copyright is, um, let me just give you all an example. If I made a song like, boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, okay? If I made a song like that, and you put it in your video as an intro song, as a background song, if they hear boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, then that's a copyright claim. And when you get monetized, if you get monetized, you wouldn't get any money on that video because you put my song in it. So all that money that you were supposed to get, it's gonna come to me. It's gonna come to your girl. So that's copyright, basically. I wish I would have knew about copyright, so I didn't. Okay, on my channel, I do really whatever I want because I don't really have a certain niche. I didn't really want to pick a niche when I started my channel, but um, I do all types of videos. So, story times, reaction videos, all that type of stuff. So, on my channel, um, I decided to do reaction videos, but I don't do them anymore as of like, a week ago or maybe two weeks ago but I don't do them anymore and I'm gonna tell you why so when you get a copyright claim that means you don't get paid for the video so I do plan on getting monetized soon so when I do get monetized I can't get paid for those videos and I will hope that you know when I get monetized I start getting paid for my videos but the problem that I had with getting copyright claims and doing reaction videos is that I'm gonna just tell y'all like a little bit of my story. So I was doing reaction videos and it's a guy on YouTube, he's also a rapper. His name is DDG. If you know DDG, let me know in the comments down below. But I was doing reaction videos from DDG and I was actually getting views. Like I know my first reaction video is currently at 2K, yeah, 2K views. And I'm gonna put it down below in the description box so y'all can check it out if you want to. But all my reaction videos got copyright claim on them because of course I'm using their song to react to it, okay? My problem became where sometimes when you get a copyright claim, your video can get blocked. Now, I didn't know that. I just thought like, you know, you get your copyright claim but just when you get monetized, you won't get paid for it. No, I did a video and I can't remember the name. I'm gonna put like uh, the thumbnail of the video. Did a video reaction to one of DDG's songs and it was up for a couple of weeks. I look at the YouTube studio thing kind of daily and I saw like one of my videos wasn't getting views anymore. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on? So, I got on my laptop, went to YouTube studio on my laptop because it's more like broader. And, excuse me, seeing I had a copyright claim, that wasn't a problem. But then, I see my video was blocked. And I was like, what? And so, basically, it was blocked from being shown so no one else could see my video. So that really pissed me off because it was just like, there's other people out here with reaction videos that you block mine. But it really pissed me off because like you put in all your time, all your effort, all this type of stuff 
and you get blocked like my video got blocked so I would just say be careful with copyright claim if you do want to use a song as a background of your video I would suggest you go on YouTube and then look up non copyright music background music stuff like that and you should find something that could help you I mean not help you but something that you can use in your video and that's what I do now but just be careful with copyright because they can also harm you from like getting monetized if you have so many copyright claims so just keep that in mind and be careful with copyright all right so the second thing that I wish I knew before starting my channel was all about sub for sub and the good and the bad of sub for sub okay so according to YouTube you are not supposed to be doing sub for sub if they catch you doing sub for sub your channel could get deleted <laughs> So, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's about a week ago. So, I was just like, oh, I didn't know your channel can get deleted now. But your channel can get deleted for doing sub for sub. When I first started my channel, it wasn't like, you know, just sub for sub. No, it was really like, check out my channel. If you like it, subscribe. If I like yours, I'm going to subscribe. A lot of new YouTubers do sub for sub. It's good and bad to it. Um, I'm going to start with the bad, I guess. The bad is that people lie. People people can unsubscribe to you and you won't really know who unsubscribe, which kind of sucks. But people can unsubscribe. Um, what else? Two, you can get your channel deleted <laughs> if you get caught. So... I don't recommend it, but um, I've actually made a lot of YouTube friends from doing sub for sub, but it wasn't like, you know, sub my channel, sub at yours. No, it's like, check out my channel, now I'll check out yours. And you know, that's how they went. But the good thing is, I mean, you do gain subscribers faster than you would normally just kind of organically. So I, <sighs> Just get subscribers the right way. Because I don't want y'all channel to get deleted. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. It's good and bad to sub for sub. But, according to YouTube, you're not supposed to do it. So, listen to YouTube. So, the third thing that I wish I knew before starting my channel was all of the platforms to promote your channel on. So, of course, you got Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Those are the main ones that I use before I found out about Facebook. Now, I am gonna be doing a how I got my first 100 subscribers video pretty soon, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that video. But, um, I didn't know about Facebook. Sometimes I would go on YouTube and just look up things of how to grow my channel and things like that. And I remember me watching a video and the girl was saying about Facebook groups. And I was like, hey, I'm on Facebook. I don't use it like that, but I'm on Facebook. So I got on Facebook and I went to like groups and I started searching like, you know, YouTube groups. A lot of groups popped up. And that's seriously how I got my first 100 subscribers on YouTube from like Facebook groups. And they really do help you. It's a lot of sub for sub going on and sometimes it could be like a burden rather than you know helping you but to me it helped me so um it just depends i guess but it did help me in the long run so use your social medias handles whatever to your it like use it to your advantage because it's really going to help you boost like your videos and get you subscribers believe it or not so the fourth tip is consistency so for me starting my channel channel excuse me talking too fast started my channel in january i posted one video in january and i think one video in february and then march uh i didn't post at all and then april is when i picked back up and i was posting i had posted like 10 11 videos in one month so consistency is key to grow your channel to keep getting subscribers if you think you're gonna post one video every month and get you know a thousand subscribers and your four thousand watch hours I, it's not gonna work <laughs> you know 
unless you have a video blow up like it's not gonna work i'm telling you people are gonna forget about you um so consistency is key i would suggest you keep a or a post on you know days like i'm gonna post every tuesday wednesday and friday i don't do it because I don't really pre-record my videos. Sometimes I would just record when I feel like it, but I do try to post two days a week. But I feel like my channel will grow faster if I post like on, you know, consecutive days, but I don't. Only because like I'm in school, college student, and I'm also, I also have a job, so I have a lot on my plate. But if you can post consistently, your channel will grow, post every week. I suggest like two times a week, but if you can post three times a week, that's good too. It's good too. But consistency is the key to growth. And a lot of YouTubers are gonna say the same thing, especially on that. Consistency is the way to grow. So my last and final tip is I wish I would've knew about the algorithm. I really hope I said that correctly. But I wish I knew all about the algorithm. So I didn't know that, you know, YouTube gives you two hours to see how your video does, to see if they're gonna push it further. And then they give you like 24 hours to see how your video is doing to whether it's gonna push you push your video forward. Now you wanna you wanna be on the algorithm side. You want them to push out your video because that's how people are gonna notice you. So, I wish I would've knew all about the algorithm. Um, I hope I'm really saying this right. It feels weird coming out of my mouth. But, yeah, different things on how they promote your video, different um, tools and tricks on how to get your video promoted, just different apps to use, like TubeBuddy. If you're a YouTuber, you should know about TubeBuddy. But, just all about the algorithm. It's a lot of stuff to explain about that. But just how YouTube promotes your video, that's something I would say do your research before you start your channel. Even if you do have a channel currently and you don't know about the algorithm, like do your research. Because like if you're wondering like why are my videos like not blowing up, it's because you need to get on the algorithm side. And you need to like do everything, like do your tag in your videos. Make your awesome thumbnail so the algorithm can push your video out. Cause you've got a crappy thumbnail, YouTube's not gonna push that video out. So just make sure, you know, you learn all about the algorithm and that really should help your channel grow. Trust me. Okay, so that is five things that I wish I knew before starting my channel. If you all enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, of course. If you haven't subscribed by now, like just, just go ahead and subscribe down below and also click that bell so you can get notified when I make another video. And yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And like always, I will see you guys next time. I got cash on me, she gon' spaz on me, let me take this flight, I got gas on me.